Now, that's just silly. That you would have to explain, how it's reasonable for you to think that you matter and somebody else doesn't matter. How that's rational. How do you justify this irrational perception that your welfare is more important than their welfare? That's not a rational conclusion. That's an irrational, emotional pile of crap. They seem to be down on life. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Oh, that's right, because they've calculated it to be this horror house where you're just basically waiting for the shit to land on you. It's piano hanging from threads town. You navigate them and you're lucky to not get squished, but you are going to get fucking squished in all likelihood, unless you're really lucky and the trap door takes you instantaneously. But yeah, for most people, it's going to be squished. They're gonna get squished, slow and hard. Maybe 20 years in the nursing home, fucker. You wanna do that time? Well, it might be hanging right over your head right now and you just don't fucking know it. The fucking piano of Damocles is gonna land on your ass. Yeah, in your case, you would deserve it, <laughs> quite obviously. But yes, of course, this is reason to be depressed. I am always depressed by a game that is built out of unfairness and a lack of deserve and a lack of consent. Yeah, those elements, no fairness, no deserve, no consent, and I'm playing that game. Yeah, that sounds like something that might depress me because I'd like to win a fair fight. I'd like to get what I deserve, and I'd certainly want to have the right to consent to play a stupid game. You need a taste of it, I think, obviously. You gotta know the flavor of pain. But then you just look at the world and you say, when I mean, you look at the roadkill on the road, half dead roadkill, where you, know, you could see the blood stain where it dragged itself off the road to die, you could say, that could have been me. I'm subject to that. The next roll of the dice might have that written on it for me. Congo, shit worms, dead at 17 of AIDS. Now, I don't wanna buy that ticket. No, thank you. This isn't fucking Disneyland. It isn't clean and safe. It's dangerous as fuck. They're only satisfying needs, addictions, desires that didn't need to exist in the first place at this preposterously high price of imposed suffering. Slavery for American Idol. Would you justify slavery to have American Idol? Tension, irritations, you know, that kind of thing. They're just subtle and pleasure is basically escaping them. So the things that make you happy are things that relieve tensions that you, that are there, but you really don't know them. It's like, say I'm kind of poor, realistically, I am very poor. And if I walk down the street and I find $10,000 in gold, it's going to make me happy. Why? Because it relieves burdens that are on top of me. Financial burdens are relieved. See how it works? So most pleasures are relieving the compressions, the burdens of deprivation and absence and inferiority. And like say you're an athlete, you just can't get that extra 10 seconds you need to make it to the next tier to be a gold medal contender. So you're just struggling to get those 10 seconds and you're failing, but it makes you happy when you finally succeed. See, because you get rid of the burden of your failure.